All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. And doesn't the yard look completely different than it did in the last few videos I published? Well, that's what we're talking about today. What is this change? We've had a, obviously a pretty big change in weather. Things have gotten a lot colder. And we're now really wrapping up the fig season. I wanted to talk about some details about that. We have um, some trees and things that have been hit by frosts uh, over really the last month or so. And then also we had uh, quite a hard frost that came in. And then of course, very soon actually tonight, we're gonna be seeing a temperature in the low 20s. And I wanted to talk about all that. We also have figs uh, over here that I've harvested, just the last real figs of the season. Um, there's probably a little bit more on the in-ground trees I have to go look at. I know Ron de Bordeaux looks pretty good. We're gonna look through some of these and do a minor, minor tasting. I also just hit, by the way, 40,000 subscribers. And so I wanted to celebrate that with you guys by talking a little bit about my merch. I spent a lot of time creating this stuff and it took me 40,000 subscribers for me to actually create it. I know you guys have been asking me, some of you guys have been asking me for years. And so I finally got, I got shirts. This logo, by the way, is beautiful. This stuff came out so well. I've even, by the way, changed this mug since I, uh, originally published it and then actually got it shipped to myself to check out all the details. I added a little bit more details to this mug. It looks even more beautiful. The shirts are amazing, by the way. I love these shirts. I already worn it. It's kind of dirty. I'm not wearing it right now for that reason. Also, this, uh, these posters that I've been creating have come out exceptionally beautiful. I am so surprised. These are really high quality posters. They're 18 by 24 inches. The font is very easily re uh, readable. It's large. The photos are beautiful. The fonts are beautiful. And then the quality is great. And I already have, by the way, this is just the fig tree timeline. This is the first one I created, but I already have about three or four, maybe even five. Uh, I'm working on one today. I'm not sure if I'll get it finished. But by the time this video comes out, today is Saturday, um, I will, of course, have at least three of them. And so I have one here on the fig tree timeline. I've got one on the fig commandments, which are really the basic rules about growing figs, like the basic things, the basic fig tree needs, you know, things about water, fertilizer, sunlight, food, all that good stuff. The timeline here is about, you know, basically letting you guys uh, know if any point in your season what you need to be doing. So I have things on here like, well, 15 to 45 days after your last frost, two months after your last frost, three months after your last frost. Once you reach cool fall, or, uh, cool fall weather, you know, every point of the season is covered in every single task that you would need to do so that you have it right there. And so it's nice to have these things even the flavor profiles that I created, I put into a poster yesterday, which I haven't even published or talked about yet um, on any of my social media or the blog. But these are really nice things. They're beautiful, but they're nice to have on your wall and like accessible, just in a nice, easily re uh, readable format that you can go to at any point and see them. And I think it's just a nice thing. Like if you guys wanna support me, you wanna give these things away as gifts, they make great gifts. And so not everybody wants fig trees. And so I do have fig trees for sale as I've been talking a lot about recently. These are the five gallon pots. And literally these are shipped in the soil, in the pot for a rather cheap price through UPS. And so they come just like this. You're getting a huge bargain. I don't think any of you guys have any idea. Well, some of you guys have an idea, but the amount of years and time that's gone into some of these trees, then you get them in the mail, you're like, you're saving yourself so many years. And so these trees are like a huge bonus, but those are for sale. But I do, you know, we hit 40,000. I just want to thank everybody out there over the years who's been supporting me through all this time. Six years of video, had no intentions of ever even having people watch my videos. <laughs> And here we are, you know, um, I know 40,000 is just a number, but you know, it's pretty special. And so let's go back to kind of closing and wrapping things up now for the fig season. 
Um, I do have a number of trees like this Neruchilla de Elba. We also have this Texas peach, which they've already naturally pretty much dropped their leaves or they got hit by frost and they really don't have any leaves on them. Whereas others I have in this row and really most of them have not totally dropped their leaves. And I like to wait as long as possible. This is pretty much what I do every year. Now, if you can take off the leaves very easily here at the top, you know, you can do that and I think that's fine. But some of them at the top just refuse to come off. And so after this low tonight, I imagine all of the leaves will be gone. They've already got hit by that harder frost, which is why the leaves look like this, you know? This is just normal. They start to turn color, they start to shrivel. Uh, and once that, of course, happens, the trees are really going into dormancy. But what I need is probably a little bit of time after that hard frost, because it has been somewhat recent, for these trees to continue that dormancy, to drop all their leaves. And so at that point, I'll do the, I'll do the pruning. And so there's not really a rush. We are gonna see a temperature in the low 20s, but the trees will be fine. The potted trees will be fine, especially the potted trees, they'll be, they'll be great. And so that's kind of the one thing that's happening. Now I do, as I mentioned, the, the Neruchillo de Elba, also this little ruby over here, and a number of trees that, that did survive the winter um, are looking great right now because they already dropped almost all their leaves. Uh, this Nerino has dropped most of its leaves. The LSU Tiger, you can see like what a difference it is between the LSU Champagne that didn't survive the winter and then right in front of it, LSU Tiger, which has no leaves. And it's the same thing with all the trees basically that survived the winter, they're dying early in the, in the fall. They're dropping all their leaves, they're losing. The fruits are finished. And really, it's kind of the same thing with the potted trees. And so if the trees didn't really produce all that much or they still have fruit on them, like this Rondé Bardot, by the way, here's one that looks pretty good. And there's still a lot of fruit on this if I could only have more time left in the season. This thing just kept producing. And so if you can, you know, essentially if your tree is gonna be done fruiting or it survived the winter, and even the potted trees are the same thing, they'll drop their leaves naturally. You don't have to really worry about it. Um, some of these frosts and different things really setting them into dormancy. It seems like there's a pretty wild difference, especially this year in what's dormant and what's not. And so again, if, if it didn't fruit, it still has its leaves on it. If it, you know, also, by the way, came back from the base, like some of those in-ground trees I mentioned, the same thing's happening. And so there's just a pretty wild difference, I think, in where the trees are at in this process. And so I don't wanna rush it. There's no real need to go crazy. Let's look at some of the fruits. And this way we have kind of like, what's, you know, what is left? Is there anything even edible here? I think that's my big question. What has been doing really well are these Adriatic type figs. And so I have right now Verdino del Nord from Tatiana. Also, there's a, a prosciutto fig in here somewhere. These are going to be the best ones. Now, also this Rondé Bardot. Let's cut this open. Because these Rondé Bardot figs on the tree are incredible. This looks rather weird, but I promise you it's probably very good. And any of the in-ground trees at this point that still have fruit and are able to produce something of decent quality, uh, even last year, the year before, really, really are impressive. So it's nice to have actually fruit on these in-ground trees late in the season like this. The potted tree is not so much. It does depend on the variety. That's rather good. And that tastes about as good as a fig maybe even a month ago. And so we are definitely, we're past the middle of, uh, middle of November, obviously, at this point, guys. Just look at the calendar today. But these Adriatics, they're still pumping out really, really good figs. And this is why I talked about them. Oh my God, that looks so good. This looks like it ripened even in September. That was very good. 
And so there's no real loss of quality is the amazing part of that, that fig. I also have Hivernenka here, which is an extremely underrated fruit in the United States. Very popular in Europe. This, in my opinion, is right up there with the Colden Alms Black Madeira. You have to try one of these. Also, Lampira 1 is extremely good. Um, and I think it might be similar to these to some degree. That's the one I'll be selling at least. And I also have um, Verdal Long for sale, which depending on the fig you look at, some are better than others, but they at this point of the season are still ripening high quality fruit. Here's another one. Let's see what the inside of this looks like. Yeah, so, I mean, you can just see that. I mean, it's obviously not as good as it would be a while ago, but these uh, Hivernenka figs are so, so good. And they come in so many different shapes, sizes, colors, types. Here's another one here. This is uh, Verdino Giacomo. First one off of that. Definitely seems like an Adriatic fig, but it lost all of its leaves, this tree. It went to sleep a bit early. This one tends to dry quick, is what I was told. And actually, it looks like a lot of seeds in there for an Adriatic fig. Um, it's actually still very good, even though the tree has no leaves. Hmm. I'm really looking forward to that one next year in higher quantity. This is a fig... Um, Figus de Monde, I forget the name of it. Uh, oh man, it's, I'm blanking on the name. This is, I think, and I hope this one's gonna really come through in the video. I think this one's Blue Princess from my friend Carlos. This is a Nikki fig. I don't remember exactly if that's what that is because I never put it on the tag, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I also have yellow long neck, which are very, very late. You can see how sad they are. These typically ripen very early, or these golden rainbow figs. It's not yellow long neck, even though it is very similar, if not the same. And then here's Calderona. That looks pretty decent, at least for this time of the year, but I'd rather have all these figs month, two months, three months prior more Calderona than I'm showing you guys right now. And the winners, of course, is the Hibernenka and these Adriatic figs. They're just so good. Um, Blue Princess. Let me make sure I get a shot of this. Just so I have a photo. But anyway, guys. I really do appreciate all the support. We, of course, hit 40,000. This is kind of just what I'm doing here at this point, just trying to enjoy what's left of the fig season. Uh, we have the merch for sale, as I mentioned. We have trees still for sale. And so if anybody out there wants to support what we're doing here on the channel, I thank you guys. And if everybody out there who has supported me at this point, I thank you guys again. It's just amazing how far we've come in six years. And uh, it just never never would have imagined that it would be anything like to this, this magnitude. And so we'll talk to you guys later, okay? Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys for the next one. Take care.